The key theme for video editing in 2023 is AI, right? I mean, it's everywhere. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at one of these new tools. It's the Envato plugin for Premiere Pro that now integrates an AI search. Without further ado, let's jump on in. These new tools are not editing your video start to finish. There's still so much thinking and care and thought that goes into creating a full edit. But what these AI tools are good at is speeding up some of those, you know, time intensive tasks. For example, automatically mixing your sound for you or cutting to different people on your podcast automatically. So Envato Elements is the creative marketplace that me and my video editing team prefer to use when looking for stock footage, sound effects, and music and templates to use in our video projects. Now, one thing I've been asking Envato for a long time is can they get a plugin inside of Premiere Pro, an extension, so we can search directly in Premiere Pro and not have to go to the web browser. And this is exactly what they did. But in addition to making it a place where you can search and download directly in Premiere Pro, saving you the that extra step, they also added another layer, an AI search, so it can find assets based on your existing footage in your timeline. So we'll get to this in a moment, but for now, let me show you how to install it and get it set up. So you can download the Envato extension from the Adobe Exchange, and I'll put a direct link down below, or you can just go directly into the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app, and you're gonna go to Stock and Marketplace, and from here, let's select Plugins, and then search Envato. Now, a lot of these plugins are free and Envato's plugin is free as well. So here's the Envato plugin. You can see I already have it installed. Before you install, make sure that Premiere Pro is closed so that way when you open it up, it'll be working correctly. Also, just to note, while the Envato extension here is free, you still need to subscribe to Envato Elements to get the non-previewed, the non-watermarked versions of their assets. If you don't have the subscription yet and you want to download, you know, the full res clips without the watermark, Mark, you can use my link below to get 70% off your first month. All right, so now that it's installed, now we can open up Premiere Pro. Here we are in Premiere Pro and let's go to Window Extensions and go to Envato. So this opens up the Envato plugin. So here we have sound effects, music, and video. And you can search by AI, which we will get to in just a moment, or you can search each category by keyword for anything that you need. And the sound effects library in Envato Elements is amazing. Like literally anytime I search for anything I need, they have that specific thing. This is probably the most used category that I personally use inside of Envato. And just one thing I would like to see inside of the panel is while they have sound effects, music, and video, they also have photos, they have templates, they have graphics elements, which is all part of your subscription with Envato Elements. It would be great if I could just search for those photos and templates templates like those motion graphics templates directly here in the panel. So I hope that they develop that in future iterations. Now, before we download and show you how to search with AI, you need to make sure you have your settings set up correctly. So go to your settings and you can see here that you can connect your Envato Element subscription if you have one and you'll be asked to put in a token, which I have already done here. And then the way that Envato works is it licenses all your assets based on a project. So you can type in the name of your current project here. So because mine is an Envato extension demo, that's literally what I'm doing for this video, I just typed that in here. So you can type in anything here specific to your project. So here's downloads. By default, it sets all of your downloads to save into your documents folder in Adobe Envato. Now we don't want that because I actually share files with other editors on my team and I want it to all be in the same location as my project. So I would recommend changing this project to project so all the files stay online. So in this case, I'm going to change it and save it into this new folder called Envato Downloads and open that up. And of course, down here, you can leave feedback and get support by emailing extensions at envato.com. Okay, so we're good on the settings. So here inside of my timeline, I have the sample media that's actually just provided with Premiere Pro from the sample media. If you go to import, they have sample media here and you can just, you know, select any of these and import those into your timeline if you wanna try it out, of course. But I already have all of them in my timeline and you can see here, you know, it's a lot of rainforests, soccer outside, 
We have some lake shots. So here there's an empty gap where I wanna put in a video clip that matches some of the scenes. Let's say that we don't have another clip to put here. This is where we can take advantage of the stock video clips. Now to search by AI to find similar looking shots, we can scrub to a point in our timeline to an exact frame where we want Envato to find and search their library for other stock video that look like this. And we can go to video and then you have to give it permission for AI feature to take screenshots of your project and then search for stock video and the results will change depending on where your playhead is in the timeline. So you can see here there is some aerial shots that look pretty similar. Some of them are pretty off like this pink aerial is not that similar but it's an aerial with a lake. Let's see what else we got here. So I think this one looks the best so let's go ahead and click download and instead of the preview I'm going to download the full res version and It'll vary on download speed depending on how big the file is. This is only 200 megabytes, so it's not too bad. Let's double click to open it up. And I'm just going to take a little small bit here. Let's say right about here. I for in, O for out. Just drag the video only. Let's just drag it here into the timeline and let's roll this in to reduce the clip size. So now we have this aerial. What happened? It's super zoomed in. Well, that's because we have to set it to frame size. Right click, set to frame size. It's in 4K and I'm working in a 1080p timeline. So that's one way of using AI search with video. It would be great if there was filters here inside the search, right? For example, if we could just download the 1080p version or if we want the 4K version, it depends on what size you need, right? So if we had some more filters here and if it's vertical, if it's landscape you know all these things i think would be useful let me know what you would like to see by just dropping a comment down below all right so now let's try out music so music can be based on the frame as well so if we leave our playhead here and go to music it'll search for things related to this scene so you can see on the lake audio jungle of generic. I'm kind of going for a documentary feel. Let's try this. Audio jungle. I do like this track. Prior to this, I did just use their regular search. And one of the things that I feel like is lacking from the music search is the ability to search by genre and, you know, BPM and vocals, no vocals. So I would like to see that here. But what I did is I searched for just by keyword documentary planet and it's super fast at pulling these up and i believe i found this one a planet wake up call because i wanted something that was building audio jungle audio jungle it was just the perfect rhythm here so you can go up here and you can use the remix tool and you can roll this clip in like so and it will create cuts for you automatically to match the length of your video and you can customize your remix if it's not perfect like you can go over here to customize and you can choose you know to have fewer segments so it adjusts your remix by using more or fewer edits and then here variations it adjusts the remix to focus on different elements of a song when creating edits so you can play around with these sliders to produce better results because sometimes the mix isn't perfect so we have our music track let's see how it sounds I've always wanted to be one of those composers. I really love the soundtrack. The only thing missing here is sound effects to bring the visuals to life. So this is where we can go into the sound effects category here. And you know, rather than searching based on this particular clip here, you can see it actually produced two results here based on the search documentary planet, not based on the frame. So remember that it goes based off of the most recent search. So we need to go back here and let's actually start with this clip here of these boys playing football or soccer, depending on where you are in the world. And if we scrub to this frame with water, let's see what we can get with the search with Envato AI. It got a few things right, like the rain, 
we can download that. Basically, I'm just trying to build up textures when I'm editing. What are all the different sounds that you can imagine, like the mud, the rain, a clothes drawer? I mean, maybe the clothes getting, you know, moving like that could sound like footsteps because you don't have to necessarily use sound effects that are exactly explicitly how they're written. You can use like random things like a clothes drawer for footsteps. Why not? You can download this. Basketball bouncing, it got that wrong because the red kind of orange ball, it didn't get the soccer ball here. So in this case, I actually found that it was easier just to search by keyword. So like soccer kick, and you know, download this because it didn't pull up anything related to kind of mud and, and grass or anything like that. I'm sure it's probably going to improve, but I found searching by keyword with sound effects was more effective. While the AI tool may not be as useful for sound effects yet, it's still so useful that we can just download the sound effects, the music and the video directly in Premiere Pro and it imports here into our project panel. So let's go ahead and download a few more of these and I'm just going to drag my sound effects into my timeline and this was the final result. So just with visuals, basic montage, and some sound effects, I think it looks pretty cool. If you want to access this particular timeline, you could become a patron by going to patreon.com slash premiergal. It's just one membership level, very simple, and you can access this timeline and see exactly what effects I used and how I set them up, especially how I mixed it with essential sound, because sometimes I don't get to go into all the detail here on YouTube, but over on Patreon, you can access that and also get access to our Discord called the Editing Room. So would I say that the AI search functionality is something that I would use often? Probably not use all the time, maybe sometimes for the stock video, but certainly not as much for sound effects because I find that just searching directly by myself for the scene is almost easier than having to scrub to that moment. But I think it is there, like it's future thinking, right? So let me know what you think about the AI search tool in the Envato extension. So try it out for yourself. It's completely free to use. You don't need an Envato subscription to start downloading. You can download assets with the preview and test it out for yourself. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna check out other videos about AI tools, you can click right over here and you can just click over here to check out some more general Premiere Pro tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.